Opus Clip Clip Anything. Let me show you Opus Clip's latest feature. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so this is still very, very new, still in beta. Opus Clip has released this new feature called Clip Anything. And you can see here it says first ever multimodal AI clipping that lets you clip any moment from any video using visual, audio, and sentiment cues. So if you don't know what Opus Clip is, it's an AI software that allows you to create vertical short clips from longer form videos. It would add really cool text and you can do branding. You can also do other things to it like add transitions and add b-roll. We mainly use it for our channel to create YouTube shorts. And then we take those YouTube shorts and then we put it on, let's say Instagram or on Facebook. We also do this for our channel management clients as well. Now what's different about Clip Anything and just the regular Opus Clip is that prior to the release of Clip Anything, Opus Clip mainly worked well on talking head videos, so like podcasts, interviews, and things that didn't work well with the regular Opus Clip was like vlogs, gaming videos, anything with like a lot of movement because it couldn't really track it. But that's why they created Clip Anything. So I'm gonna try it out for the very first time so you can hear my reaction. Okay, so I'm here in the regular dashboard and right here where it says Opus Clip, you can see it says Clip Basic. That's what it has been this entire time up until now. And what I've been using, and I actually do really love Opus Clip to create the shorts, but now they have this drop down feature called Clip Anything. And for now, it says no credits will be deducted and the processing time might be a bit slower because it's in the beta format right now. So right now it's actually free to use. Okay, we've set it to clip anything and now we need to put in a link. So I'm gonna grab this video right here, which was a vlog that me and my business partner did when we were trying out the Turo app for the first time, which is basically like a car rental app. And it's a vlog, so there's like lots of movement in it. And we rented this Corvette and I wanna see if this is gonna look good in clip anything. So I'm gonna grab the link here. I'm gonna pop it into Opus Clip Anything. And it says here, credit usage zero, which is great. And before I click the get clips in one click, I'm just gonna scroll down here and see what other features they have. So they have here, it's on clip anything, clip length. So you can do less than 90 seconds, less than 30 seconds, 30 to 59 seconds. Let me leave it on less than 90 seconds and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it says here, for best results, choose the genre that fits your content. You can either choose let AI detect, or you can choose like podcast, lifestyle, sports, marketing, webinar, entertaining, news, informative, educational. Let's click the show more button. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. They even have American football as one of them. Uh, this was a vlog, so I actually want to see what the AI will do. So it says, I'm going to leave it on let AI detect, because I want to see, can you actually detect that this was a vlog with the car? So I'm going to continue scrolling down here, and it says, include specific moments, and it's, and it's got the prompt here. If you don't know how to prompt, it's basically you have to, like, tell it what you want, so you can see some things here. Compile all the hilarious moments. Find the goal scored by the player. Find me the section with the epic fights. So let's click on learn more and see what it says. So it's gonna give you like a blog post on the Opus Clip website, and it's gonna basically tell you what prompts are and how to use prompts. So that you can see that there's a lot here to choose from, and then it even shows you what not to do. So examples of do not use these prompts. So, and so these are all the things not to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose on, I'm going to probably choose one here. Find the moments that are likely to go viral. Let's we'll just see what it, I have no idea. Let's just see what it's going to choose. Let's head back to Opus and I'm going to type this prompt in. 
or likely just paste it. And then here, processing time frame. So if you know like a certain part is the exciting part or the part that you want to get clips from, like let's say that for the first two minutes I was doing nothing but talking, you could technically move this forward and not use that time as minutes, right? Because the longer your video, the more processing time it's gonna take, right? And I use this sometimes for our tutorial videos, like for the first minute or so, it's not going to be relevant. So I'll actually clip that out and, and saves me on minutes. Now, this is free right now, but you know, once they go past beta, they're gonna, this is going to be using minutes. And if we continue to scroll down here, it says here that we can use um, my templates. These are templates for ourselves and for our clients. So um, I'm going to be clicking on this template because that's our colors. And then that is it. So we are now ready to click the get clips in one click. So let's see what this outputs. All right, so it says, I have nine free projects left today to use clip anything, cool. So I'm just gonna scroll down here and you can see that it is taking significantly longer because, because it's still in beta, it says here ETA is going to be 30 minutes. Usually when I'm clipping all this other stuff, you see here all these videos, these are ours and our clients and stuff. Usually this takes like seven minutes or something. This one takes four minutes. And so this is gonna take a bit. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's all finished. And you can see here, it looks like this when it's finished. It says, it's got the little thing that says clip anything. So you know that it's under that. So I'm going to click on it to check out the clips that it created. Okay, so we've got the prompt here up at the top. It says here that scene analysis, it was a simple compilation, engaging content, and viral moments. Let's see how many it created from this. It's like a five minute and 33 second video. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six clips. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that all these clips are going to be usable and they're going to be good. Like, I'll be happy if we can get one to two clips out of this. All right, so I can see for this first one that it has a little bit of where they clipped it from. So from the two minute mark here, the four minute mark, and then the five minute mark. So let me just click play and see what they created for me. <laughs> I haven't even started driving yet. All right, so we're pretty much done with the first part. You do need to take a bunch of pictures and go around the car to, um, if there are any pre-existing damages, to document those on photos and upload them in the app. So we've just finished that. With all these pine cones, it looks like we're in like some sort of driving race course. <laughs> the other side of those cones are for the cyclists. So I wouldn't say that that is totally usable. I mean, there were some clips that worked and some that definitely did not. I would have to edit this clip and really work it. And again, I did give it more of a generic prompt. Now that I'm thinking, maybe if I had said, you know, all the clips where the Corvette was in the shot, maybe that would be a better video. But I mean, I could see myself editing this and then making it better but it's it definitely gives you like a starting point to do like a compilation so this is this is their simple compilation i would say i would give it like a c plus grade because it's not usable yet i need to like work it so let me go through the last three and see if there's anything really good that it created 
We are trying out the app called Turo. And if you don't know what Turo is, it's basically like Airbnb, but for cars. And uh, we thought we'd try it out here in Vancouver. And we went on there, checked out some cars, and we rented one. And so this is the car that we <laughs> rented. It is, I believe, a, a Stingray Corvette. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna just get in the car and go. This thing is a beast. It looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're about to get into this thing. So easy, like they just gave us the keys. And I guess we just drive. Wow. All right, here we go. Okay, decent amount of trunk space. We are trying out the Okay, so this one has potential, but I don't like the ending. So I feel like I would need to edit this and like add an ending to it. Because I didn't like the way it ended. And then I would clip some parts that I find were not as interesting. But so far, this one's the best one, number four. That's why I don't like to go with the, the rankings and the like this grading system here. Because I actually think that number four out of one, two, and three are, are so far better. So this last one here also has potential. Uh, again, I would need to, you know, work it, add some things, delete some things. I'm not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to see like what it would output. So overall, I think that it's a great start. It's in beta, so they're still working on it. I feel like some videos are going to work better because I saw them do a demo on like a basketball video where there was a game and then they were like, typing in a prompt to have a specific player and, you know, get all the dunk scenes, right? So that was like, that's much more specific. I gave it more of a general term and I feel like if I was more specific in that saying like, oh, you know, compile all the scenes with the black Camaro, that I feel like maybe that would have been a, a better output. But overall, I am excited for this feature to fully roll out. And again, it's new. And as I mentioned, Opus Clip is very much involved in the development of the software. And so I'm really excited where they can take this. Like if this is just the beginning, it's only going to get better and better from here. So I would say try it out for yourself. If you have Opus Clip or if you don't have Opus Clip, you can head down to the description below as I will have my affiliate link for you. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate if you used that. They do have a free trial offer where you get a certain amount of hours. And for now, at the time of filming this video, using Clip Anything is currently free because it's in beta. So you could actually test it out without using your regular Clip hours. Again, that link will be down in the description below. Again, I highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.